The transition to third level. What happens during transition? UL offers an amazing newness on so many levels, but we also need to acknowledge that coming here means that there's a transition happening for all new students. And for some of you that'll be a breeze, and for others you'll find it tough. Many of you will feel a little bit of both. The key is that whatever you feel or experience in these initial weeks, it's completely normal and all part of this experience. My name is Jesse Waters and I'm the Librarian for Student Engagement and Success at the Glucksman Library. I'm also one third of the Student Engagement and Success Unit at UL, alongside the First Year Support Coordinator and the Educational Developer for Student Engagement and Success. The W curve tracks how the experience for first year students can unfold. First comes the honeymoon stage. You've received your offer for university, you're excited about meeting new people, possibly a first move away from home and a feeling of independence. A couple of weeks into the first semester, you could experience some cultural shock. This can happen as a result of a variety of changes and new encounters all occurring together. For example, you might be sharing a bathroom or a kitchen, learning to navigate new people and new personalities. You could be adjusting to new classroom sizes and assessment methods, learning how to take notes. Even tasks like cooking and washing clothes might be new to you. When a number of these come together, they may cause some feelings of being overwhelmed or frustration. The phase of cultural shock requires persistence because it makes way for the phase known as initial adjustment. Listen and ask questions and a lot of those initial annoyances will figure themselves out. Just stick with it. By sticking with it you reach this adjustment peak. You know the run of things and your routine is well established. Mental isolation can and does happen to students. Most often this happens after the break between the first and second semester. This is when the new culture of university can come up against the familiar culture of home, family and friends. Students often find that there can be a sense of being caught between two worlds. Sometimes there is also an element of a harsh reality check as well. Not all people are as friendly or as helpful as you anticipated and questions might arise about your course choice or future career. Again, what feels like a challenge at this time requires perseverance and resilience. Finally comes acceptance and integration. This is the nicest phase of the W curve and can be facilitated by becoming involved in what UL has to offer because that will bring you better connectivity and these previous feelings start to balance out. You as students can see your place in university and start to feel comfortable with it. One of the things that many of you may have been looking forward to is the idea that attendance in college is optional. However, class attendance is actually the best predictor of third level grades. It's even a better predictor than your second level achievements, your time spent studying or your study skills. This is the exact same in an online environment. Some lectures may be recorded and provided to you online, but we strongly recommend that you attend them at the scheduled times. Think of these as opportunities for interaction with your lecturer and your classmates. Be disciplined and don't think you'll catch up later if you miss a few. Establish a good routine and you are more likely to succeed.